a sacrificial lamb. Bible verse for meditation today is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verses 9 to 12. Let's hear the word of God. Then he said, here I am, I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered to all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Amen? Brethren, God's will is to remove the law. Jesus sat down at the right hand of God, not because he is the son of God, but because all our sins have been paid for. Amen? Hebrews chapter 10 verses 50 to 25 which I'm not reading, God assures us that he will remember our sins no more. Never ever. The blood of Jesus always, the blood of Jesus is always fresh and avails for our forgiveness of sins forever. The teachings inspires, this teaching inspires the Holy Spirit always. Jesus sat down at the right hand of our Heavenly Father because his work is truly finished. Because his work is a truly finished work. Remember at the cross, he cried, it is it's finished. And today, he's seated in heavenly places. Just to assure us that the penalty of our sins that he came to pay is perfectly, perfect and completely complete. It is finished. Brethren, Jesus' finished work has completely or perfectly perfected us and sanctified us. It is perfect and it has completely paid the price of our sins in our entire life. In our entire life. We are forever forgiven. Hallelujah. What are we then in the sight of God? Because our nature is corrupted after what Adam did when we're dead in our sins today we are alive in Christ we can still sin remember we are still in the presence of sin Jesus didn't come to stop us from sinning otherwise I would have said God had failed but thank God he sent his son to take our sin punishment judgment condemnation wrath of our sins not to stop us from sinning. We are still in the presence of sin. Brethren, the Bible wants us to judge our states based on our standing and never the other way around. It is necessary and helpful. The trespass offering we had in our previous lessons is an offering or the trespass offering is same as a guilt offering. All the offerings in the, the Le, in the Levitical law point to the perfect work of our Lord Jesus Christ. They all point back to Jesus, the perfect sacrifice. Rather than see Jesus carrying your shame at the cross. Thank him. See you carrying his glory and honor. Because at the cross, a divine exchange took place. Jesus took our shame, our sin, our condemnation, our sicknesses, our curses in his body at the cross. And in turn, he has imputed his righteousness, his innocence, his beauty, his glory, and perfection unto us. Believe Jesus took your sins and shame at the cross, but refuse to let people know we are given we have been given his glory. That is our nature. We fail to thank him. We are so hitting him at the, at the back of his hand. Depending on our self-righteousness, we only call upon him when we fail and we are unable to keep 
the Ten Commandments. But I'm here to assure you that indeed Christ paid for all your sins at the cross. Jesus came not to not to just demonstrate his power and glory. God gave his power and manner. God gave him his glory and power. And that is what we also have through Christ today. Because we believers, we the born again, are in the risen Christ. At that time when we were dead in our sins, that is when Jesus came. We died in the first Adam, and we died in the first Adam, but we are made alive in the second Adam, our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, all that Jesus is before God, you are. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 reads, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. When an Israelite brings an animal as his sin offering, he lays his hand on it before killing it. See Leviticus chapter 4, verses 1 to 4. By laying his hand on the sin offering, which is the animal, his sins are transferred to the innocent animal. The animal dies for his sins and goes, and he goes free. So today at the cross, Jesus died for our sins, and today we are set free from the punishment of our sins. In contrast, during the burnt offering, when the Israelite lays his hand on the animal, the beauty, worthiness, and acceptance and acceptance of the unblemished animal are transferred to him. God accepts the perfection of the animal sacrifice on his behalf to make atonement for him. Because God accepts the unblemished burnt offering, the offerer now has the right standing with God. Today, Jesus, God is satisfied with the payment of his son Jesus Christ. So we are justified, pure and righteous before God. We are set free forever from our sins because Jesus took them all in his body at the cross. Do you know that the two offerings speak of Jesus? One's offering of himself when he hung on the cross, both the guilt and the sin offering point to Jesus Christ, Jesus' sacrifice at the cross for us. He is both our sin offering and burnt offering, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. Brethren, the moment you put your faith in him, in Christ, just by his one sacrifice, your sins were transferred to him. The moment you put your trust in Christ, just one sacrifice of his, his righteousness was transferred to you. That is the grace of God towards you. And that is the good news we are talking about. That is the good news I'm preaching. As Jesus, as a sin offering, he offered himself once and for all. The sin offering was never a daily offering because God does not want his people to be sin conscious. So if you are sin conscious, you are telling God that his son's work is not finished. His son's work is not complete. It means you are daily standing as the, the priest in the Old Testament, daily sacrificing for your sins. But the good news is, God's, Jesus' blood has perfectly and once and for all paid for your sins at the cross. Beloved, God wants you to lay claim daily to Jesus as your burnt offering and say, Father, I thank you that Jesus is my burnt offering. All that Jesus is before you, his righteousness, excellence, beauty, and perfection has been transferred to me. Hallelujah. Jesus has, Jesus has your unclouded favor. So do I. So I enjoy your unclouded favor in my life. Jesus is the
the righteousness of God. So I am the righteousness of God in Christ. And as he is before you today, so am I. Brethren, as Christ is before God today, so are you. God is satisfied with our sin payment. In the book of Leviticus chapter 1 verse 9, when Jesus was on the cross, he did more than just die for our sins. His one sacrifice did not just remove our sins, but it also clothed us with his righteousness and perfection. Jesus became the true burnt offerings or burnt sacrifice for us. In the Old Testament, whenever someone offered a burnt sacrifice, the perfection of the animal came on him. In the same way, every perfect attribute of Jesus, your burnt sacrifice comes on you when you take him as your personal savior. And because God sees you clothed with Christ, you have the same acceptance and favor with him that Jesus has. When Jesus was offered on the cross, the fire of God brought out his perfection like perfume to God. In that one sacrifice alone, Jesus obedience and perfections rose as a sweet aroma to the Lord, which is what is emitted when the offering when offering the bent, the sweet aroma speaks of our Lord Jesus Christ, the first sacrifice that gave us right standing with God. You can also rest, brother, in the perfect sacrifice of Jesus today, knowing that what he did at the cross, he did for you. The death that, that he died, he died for you. Christ also has loved us and given himself for us. An offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. You can rest knowing that God the Father is satisfied with you because his son's sacrifice has caused his heart to rest with regard to you. You can rest because Jesus is God's satisfaction for you. Brethren, today, as you come before God, say, Father, I thank you that Jesus is such a delight and your joy to you. He, sat he satisfies your heart completely and what he did, he did for me. Because Jesus so satisfied you, God, I know that you are satisfied with me. Brethren, God is satisfied with you because he's satisfied with what his son did at the cross. Because Jesus is your delight, I am also your delight. You are God's delight today. Because Jesus so pleases you, I know I please you too. Brethren, God is pleased with you because he's pleased with his son, Jesus Christ. And because Jesus is my righteousness, and perfection i stand righteous and perfect before you brethren jesus is perfect and righteous before god so are you today you are perfect and righteous before god through christ beloved when you speak of christ and his finished work it goes up to god as a sweet aroma it goes up to god as a sweet smelling aroma to god and if God can rest in the perfect sacrifice of his son. You can too. If God is satisfied with his son's sacrifice at the cross, then God is satisfied with you too. If God is pleased with his son's sacrifice at the cross, you are God is pleased with you too. Brother, because Jesus came as your burnt offering, what he is to the Father today, you are. That is what it means to be in Christ. That is what it means to be in Christ. Amen. Share this video. Stay blessed. Remember, you are, God is satisfied with you. You are a sweet smelly aroma to God through Christ. 
don't look at yourself and look at Christ. Keep your eyes off self and focus on Christ and the cross. Amen. Share this video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't want to miss out on any of my latest videos. Shalom. Bye-bye.